Welcome to one of the great teachings originated from the time of Lemuria. It was called the mirror. Because we are all one human race, we reflect our frequency upon each other. And that what is in you can be seen in the other. In this video, I will give an example of three different emotions that we have and how this mirror effect reflects with others. Judgment. When we judge someone on the way they look or behave, we are actually showing them our emotions. For you see someone in a mirror that has a different style. When the other is expressing themselves in that what we are not used to, we easily judge someone to be strange. Our body language will show much of this. Or it can be done silently inside with our mindset and create more and more judgment. The emotion that is reflecting from the other can be based from many fears. We have, for instance, fear of showing ourselves to others as our true original being. We don't dare to be different as that's what we have grown up with. We really don't do what our heart wishes and we are stuck in our usual judging others process. For that is our comfort zone. We don't know any better ways for we might be very afraid for being judged ourselves by our family and friends, so we easily decide to judge the other. We often say, that person is really weird, because she dresses so different. But really inside in your heart, you would love to be free and wear that what you want. And because you have this pain, you judge the other instead of loving them for who they are. But in your life, you have been grown up to certain rules and habits and thus not really followed your heart's deep longing for freedom. Judgment is one of the most common emotions we mirror each other with. For this is also why so many cultural and religious differences are easily judged. When we realize that the judging emotions come from our own judging ourselves, we grow and understand the mirror effect. The other is just showing you what needs to be healed in you. It wants to get attention and deep soul diving is needed to find out where this emotion is coming from so you can free yourself. When we stop judging others and learn that Every time we do so, it is our own judging to ourselves. We can start to reprogram our fears and look in the other's eyes and only reflect love. Anger. When we become angry at another, we reflect our angry emotion upon another human being. After we say, it's your fault that this happened to me. We put the blame on the other and don't realize that it is our own anger inside that the other reflects in you. They just serve as your mirror. We just reflect our unresolved anger upon the other. The other is just playing a role in showing you that this is still in your unconscious mind. It has nothing to do with the other. Often we react from our ego programming of our mind and fears. And then the other reflects back to you his own anger. For his pain has been touched by your being angry and shouting at them. Most times being angry at the other triggers the unresolved anger from your mirror person. And the ego will make it a fight of whose fault it was that made you angry. If the other is just your mirror and has resolved his anger, it will not trigger that person. And will just let the other release their pain and give them a hug. For when you shout at someone at your anger, 
you are really saying and expressing your unresolved pain. This is part of the emotions that we have as humans. And they just need attention to be able to be released. They are only being reflected by the others as your mirror. And the other is not the fault of your problem that happened. It is your perception that you created. The best way to deal with this is to meditate and to find the inner core of your unresolved anger from your soul part. This can come from many past experienced situations. What really happens with the arrow that you point out at them with literally pointing out our finger to the other person, that arrow goes right back to you. <laughs> we even have a joke about it. When you point out one finger to another, three fingers will point back at you. Love. The same mirror effect happens with the energy of love. When you send out love, the other will pick up this frequency and react with love. A smile to another person will give you a smile back and the energy will be different. It opens the heart of both people. It gives a good feeling as we all know how this makes us feel good. Not only reflecting this with our loved ones, but to reflect this love with all humans, for we are all one. And the more you resolve your fears and pains from your heart, the more you can reflect love with others, with all human beings, whatever their behavior or background, color, gender or race. And that is what I wish for everyone to heal and to restore their life. Much love to you from Esnadi. <laughs>